In this video, I will show you how to bring in data from Bloomberg for the stocks that we've picked. Remember, these are the stocks related to the auto industry. So we've got about 29 stocks here. And so I'm going to bring in some data on these companies. And what we want to use is data related to uh, fundamentals of the company. Usually we want something related to growth or profitability and we want to have at least one thing related to risk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button up here, Bloomberg, and I'm going to do find fields. And what I'm going to use, these are just ones I've selected, but I want to find three, three year sales growth. And I'll just hit enter. And here it is, sales, three-year average growth. That will show me how fast their, growth, their sales have grown over the last three years. I want companies that have had good sales growth. So that's going to be one of my screening criteria. Another thing I want to look at is their gross margins. I want firms that have good, solid gross margins. So I'll click on that and I'll add that. And one, one other thing I want to look at is total debt to earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization or total debt to EBITDA. Click on that. There it is, the second one there, total debt to EBITDA. Had that one. So that gives me sales growth and margin, which is related to the fundamentals, the growth and profitability of the firm. And then debt to EBITDA gives me one factor related to risk. Now you can bring as many factors as you want to, but for our purposes, I'm just going to bring three in. And then what I want to do is compare this to something related to valuations. So I'm going to bring in economic value, also known as EV, economic value to EVITDA, economic value to EBITDA. Um, and I'm going to use this second one, um, EV, the 12 month EBITDA. So it's the enterprise value of the firm divided into the last 12 months of EBITDA. So I'm going to add that. I just click the apply button and I can close and you can see that Bloomberg has brought those titles up. So I've got the titles of what I'm looking for, so now I need to bring the, the actual data in. And so here's the function we use. Hit your equal sign and, and type the words B as in boy, D as in dog, P as in Paul, open parentheses, and what BDP is saying is we want Bloomberg data, um, and what we wanted is for this company, AXL, that's our first company. I'm going to hit the function four key, the F4 key. I'm going to hit it twice so I can lock in the, uh, I'm sorry, hit it three times so I can lock in the A, the column, because I want it to always be column A. Always, always the ticker of the company is always in column A, so I want to lock that in. Hit my comma and cursor up, hit the up key to C1. For my sales growth, I want to hit the F function four key twice, so I'll lock in row one because my, my uh, accounts are always in row one. Close parentheses, hit enter. Um, there it is. There's the sales growth for this company. Pretty strong. Three years average sales growth, 12.7%. I'm going to hit my home key, and then I'm going to hit the comma so I get that in good format. I want to now copy this all the way down. The easy way to copy it is just come over here and click on that little box at the end. And then I want to copy it across so I can take that box at the end and just drag it across. And now I've got all this data. See how quickly i got all this data for 29 companies. Um, now, I'm going to have to do a little bit of maintenance here. You'll notice that this firm right here, MPG, does not have data. We're getting a lot of NAs. My philosophy is just to delete that company since it's missing data. So I click on that row, right click, and just delete. And it's gone. Here's another one, SRI. I'm going to delete that company as well. And then we look at the debt to equity and what we're going to notice with the debt to equity is there's some firms that are just way off the charts on debt to equity and on EV the EV, EV does. So Tesla, great company, but its numbers are so skewed. I'm going to take this out. Now sometimes you'll have to do a little extra work to figure out who these outliers are, but when we're going to do this type of analysis, these outliers can really cause us some problems. You don't always do this, depends on what kind of analysis you're doing, but for my case, I'm going to kick out the outliers. I'm going to get rid of Tesla. And then I notice there's two other companies that have really high debt. And because it's so much higher than everybody else's, Ford 
and FDML, I'm going to delete those two companies. I'm just cleaning up the data. Now, again, you may not do that. It just depends on the analysis. You might try it with those companies, try it without. You can see very quickly if you've got, if you've got an issue. And so now I've got my now 24 companies, and I've got all the data for these companies. Now what I want to do is tell me if firms that score really well on sales growth and gross margins and score really low on debt, have low debt, are they the most valuable companies? You would hope that a firm that scores well on these two items, three-year sale growth and gross margin, and have very low debt should have the highest EV to EBITDA. They should be the most expensive stock, stocks. And the score, firms that score very poorly on these two and have high debt should have very low EV to sell. So we're going to figure that out. So in the next, in the next video, we will run a regression to see if we can use these three items to predict this item and see how good of a regression we get.